What is the change in elevation from the top of Everest to the shore of the Dead Sea? So Everest is the tallest mountain on Earth, of course, and uh, the Dead Sea is actually below sea level. Now what that means is sea level, we measure that as uh, the zero line, right? So you're either above sea level, like a mountain, or below sea level, uh, like, let's say, a cave, uh, or, in this case, the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea actually goes below sea level. And what they're saying is, um, you know, what is the change in elevation from the top of Everest? So you're starting here, and you're going down to the bottom of the Dead Sea, or to the shore of the Dead Sea. So you're standing on the shore of the Dead Sea, which happens to be below sea level. How far is that change, and is it a positive change or a negative change? They're not very clear about that here. Uh, however, right, that is actually what they're looking at. So I actually forgot to write down the actual heights of these two. Let me pause this and put that in there. Okay, so they tell us that the that Mount Everest is 29,035 feet above sea level, and uh, the Dead Sea, the shore, is 1,310 feet below sea level. And so we can think of that as negative 1,310. So they want to know what's this distance. Well, first of all, it's got to be a negative change because we're starting at a high mountain and going down to the shore. So J and F are out. Don't be overwhelmed by the exact calculation. Just notice that this distance has to be greater than 29,000 because we're going 29,000 feet at least to go from the top of the mountain to sea level, and then another 1,310. So, um, in fact, I would say that, oh, to cross out F, F is actually the answer. I, I meant to cross out the positive value, sorry. So negative 30,345 feet is the total distance. It can't be G because notice 27,000 is just, it's even less than this distance right here. And then they ask here, what is the change in elevation from the shore of the Dead Sea to the top of Everest? So now we're starting here and going up. So that's a positive change. And it's going to be the same, except now it's a positive 30,345. So again, they're not very clear about it in, in the wording here, but when they, they talk about change, usually they also want to know was it a positive or negative change in other words did it start at a high and go to a low value so going from three to two feet we had changed negative one but going from two to three feet would be a change of positive one right look at the direction of the change all right hope that helped